Hello, my beautiful soul friends and gorgeous family. Beautiful humans, I love you all so much. I love and respect you all, no matter if you're higher level of development than me, or less, or more higher or equal. I love my friends, I love everybody who's close to me, I love the people who vibe with me, and I appreciate the people who don't vibe with me, and I don't vibe with them too much either. So yeah, in this video I wanna share just quickly, why, why does veganism make sense? I've made a few YouTube videos on this in the past. Haven't done a long time. Just a quickie. So, is where to start? Does it make any sense that there's a law, and even you don't want somebody, for example, to hurt or kill or capture or kidnap or exploit or impregnate your pet, and take and then separate any offspring of your pet? Um, like let's say little baby girls or da or da like daughters or, or sons and then whip them off the sons are killed from your lovely beautiful pet that you love and then the, the daughters are just kept for in a field even if it's free range people love to say our oh, free range is beautiful it's just a field of young girls no family no boys no parents it's just a whole like a concentration camp of, of girls that's all like the free range beautiful stuff I see in Ireland is. A bunch of girl sheep, a bunch of girl cows. Whole lot of, no mothers. All the mothers are gone. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Like it's just a bit of a sad feeling, you know. I'm not trying to spread va sad vibes, but sometimes it's a million times worse not to recognize cruelty and abuse than to feel More sad about it once sometimes. and take positive corrective, corrective action, you know? Like, that's what happens in the dairy industry that's what happens in the meat industry even if you're vegetarian and you're having dairy of any kind that's what's happening that's what you're supporting that's what we are I am contributing to and empowering and keeping alive and building and feeding and supporting with my money if I'm even on the looser end if you give your money to a company that does that like a big supermarket even if you're still buying vegan stuff you are supporting that on the looser softer less powerful scale but to directly full on 100% uh, give give company your your money who like does this like type of horrific expo exploitation you know it's completely like heartless you know um, I'm not condemning it but it's there's no heart and love and integrity or respect involved some people say they kill an animal and it's like they do it with respect but the only time you can kind of do that if you can do it at all is if you're like starving in the wild and there's no other options like some sort of native you know um, who doesn't have other food available but it's hard to yeah to try and do the best you can under any given circum circumstance for sure but um yeah like so so the premise is like here's one of the premises like who deserves love and respect is it only the people like in your bloodline is it only people who you can see touch smell hug do is it only the only three people nice who are kind and nice to you? Like your pet gives you a fuzzy, warm, funny feeling. So do other animals you see in your neighborhood going for a walk. But would you ever like go chase after, hurt, kill, tear apart um, um, another animal? Like it's not yours. Of course you wouldn't. So why would you do it then to a different, a different animal in a field somewhere? Hey, lovey. See you soon in a minute, okay? <laughs> so yeah that's why I said like who's deserving of love is it only your your like your children like or your your pets who you can see and touch and smell and give you like a nice warm cuddly feeling back and then you don't give a crap about like not you but me and then then I don't give a crap about like the animals like two counties away or one hour drive away or in a different country who I can't see and don't give me a warm cuddly feeling back they don't give me like happy feelings with my endorphins and neurotransmitters because they're like looking at me all innocently and happily ah, they're like so cute so do you only be kind and respectful to those that are cute what if some some person's ugly what if some person's disabled what if a person has the IQ or the intelligence or the physical capabilities of 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 like of a of a, of a four year old, two year old, a ch a ch and an animal, like a child, a baby, an animal. Do we just like the hell with them? 
Um, like, I'm not feeling angry right now whatsoever. Like, I'm feeling very cool. Like, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling happy. I had a cold shower a while ago. I met my family in a minute. I'm gonna meet them. But, like, I'm just saying, like, you have to think about this, my friends. Like, you don't have to, but you can. So, I'm here just to help you. And I'm not better than anybody who, who doesn't know this. Like, I didn't know this at one stage. I used to eat meat, like, up to the age of 24, like, twice a day. I used to be milling it down, you know? But the minute, and I'm not saying you should or anyone else should, but the moment I found out about all the cruelty to animals with factory farming and on the internet, I just quit overnight. And I basically became 99% vegan overnight. But uh, I'm not saying you shouldn't. We all have different journeys. And, like, you know, I wasn't born into a vegetarian or vegan family. And you probably weren't either. So I'm just trying to help. No, I'm not trying to fight or judge anyone. Like, we're all doing our best. We all do the best we know, what we can, what we ha what the way we are, our personality, what we know. Our level of maturity, development, and consciousness. You know, I'm my level of maturity, development, and consciousness. Like, I'm going to be more in a few years, another year, another six months, another two days, I'm going to be more, because that's the path I'm on. But like, people are like all like definitely higher level of maturity, development, and consciousness than me. And, like, all I want is compassion, love, and guidance, and support and help from them. You know, like the way when we're younger, when we're a baby, when we're a child, or when we're just another human but less developed. You know, and that's all I want to do: to be of service, be kind, compassionate, respectful to other people. We all make mistakes and their experiences like many things aren't even really some mistakes we're just experiences and we learn we grow we fall we slip we falter we get back up again we go forward and we learn so yeah so yeah right to life right to love right to respect isn't dependent on how cuddly or cute or attractive or pretty or handsome you are it's not dependent on looks not dependent on iq if it was dependent on looks then you could treat ugly people who are ugly like if you can call me ugly if you want I'm not trying to say anyone's ugly but you know in your perception if someone perceives someone to be ugly then does that mean you can be mean to them of course not and if if someone has the eye if someone's like if humans are impaired and like they have less mental f faculty does that mean you can just like bully kill abuse rape exploit them sell them just keep them in a cage keep them in a nice field separate them from the family like like just kill them even as baby as youngsters like that's what happens to the to the boys in the dairy industry because they don't produce milk but the girls have the, the blessed ability to live on only to be impregnated every year until they typically run down and then they're killed at a younger age because they get so tired from milk production and pregnancy which is super exhaustive any uh, any adult female um humans will know that like pregnancy and 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 producing milk is exhausting kind of like that's why people get um, after birth or in birth in pregnancy depression like you know because it's so depleting and exhaustive potentially especially if you have other like health challenges so yeah only loving for respect and compassion only love here only love even towards like people don't know i don't know loads of stuff so i only want love and compassion for me too and respect you know help a little helping hand so I better go. Loads of love. Thanks for watching. I hope this video wasn't offensive. It wasn't meant to be offensive. I'm not trying to be mean or unfriendly to anyone else. And lots of love. And I'm not trying to pressurize you, force you, control you, or manipulate you, or guilt you, or shame you either. Not in the slightest bit. I have things I'm working on. Don't worry. I ain't perfect. I don't pretend to be. I'm not better or higher than anyone else. And I don't try and pretend or trick myself into thinking I am. Because that's a bit a big ego thing. An ego trap. And thankfully I'm aware of that. Thankfully, I don't need to think below or beneath others either. Sure, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm more or less in terms of maturity, development, and consciousness for sure. That's just normal and natural in the same way. There's a color: of yellow, blue, green, black, white, orange, purple, and they're all the other colors: indigo, lavender, delicious colors, crimson. Um, there's different colors, and that's cool. But that doesn't mean you're better or worse. And I'm not worse or better. Thankfully, I have a healthy self-esteem and confidence, but I don't have arrogance and self-delusion thinking I'm above or beyond people. <laughs> Lots of love. I love you all. Beautiful people, beautiful souls. Thanks for watching, and I wish you a beautiful day, no matter what your diet. Anyway, I just care for you, and all the best to you. See you again. And yes, please, if anyone wants to collaborate with interviews or collaborations, please connect with me. And if anyone wants to be like, if you like me, my videos, my vibe, my presentations, my content, especially my heart, me, and would like to befriend me and you use like Facebook or Instagram or, or Telegram or, or Odyssey, please do befriend me and leave me a little message. Like connect to person say, hi, Alan, I saw your, your video here. Love to connect with you. Thanks, I like your videos. Or just say whatever is on your heart or your mind. Like even if it's something you don't like, you can give me some um, critique. I know my videos are in the car. It's not the most nice backdrop. But I just don't have spare time to go out into, into a forest these days and make a video, you know. If ever I'm in nature, I'm either on my own or or usually with my family, but if I'm on my own, I'm like running or swimming, so I don't really have it's all too much to start doing the way I used to, you know. Times have times have gone on, my life's changed and developed. Here go, love you, thank you so much. Have a nice day ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're beautiful, I love you all. Thank you, you're amazing. <laughs>
So this says peace, love, and seasonal fruit. <laughs> I just happen to be wearing it. But yeah, so this is part two of the topic of like veganism, like why I'm choosing veganism without shaming or judging others. Just some reasons, some uh, rational, ethical, moral, just, opi just opinion, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to go around judging anyone, but yeah, let's continue on the video anyway. So uh, here are some ideas and I'm just free rolling of like why veganism, for me at least, and why many others as well. Just to put it out there in one video, you know? So I did, I, this is part two, so I made some some more ethical and sort of common sense and sort of rational um, things in part one. And in this video I wanted to, um, I went out with my family and children and went to like swings and see. So I had some little bit of thoughts and I want to share them with you now. And some is treat others like you like to be treated. So yeah, that kind of goes in part one a lot, treat others way, like the way you like to be treated. If you don't want to be killed, don't kill. If you don't want to be robbed or exploited or captured or kept in a field all your life, or kept in a town all your life, or used, or used as a commodity, or treated or thought of like a thing to be gained from, but at your loss of freedom, your loss of life, your loss of health, your loss of well-being, your loss of nice treatment, your loss of love and care, your loss of being with your with your family and children, or your parents, or your brothers and sisters, then don't do that to others, you know? Just this pretty basic, simple philosophy here. It's like universal, it's all religions. Do unto others like you'd like to have done unto you. So if you don't want your, your, your children, family, parents, brothers, sisters taken from you, killed, used, exploited, then don't do that. You know, it's just an idea. You don't have to go along with that, but it's it's in religion, all religions and the basic spiritual philosophy for a reason. And I'm just coming from a basic common sense slash natural slash spiritual philosophy in this video. That's where I come from. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not following any one particular religion. So, yeah. Hey, hi, Matt. So, yeah. Um, and then there's another... Uh, thought and idea is um, if you can't make if you can't if you can't make it if you don't break it if you don't if you can't fix it don't break it if you can't fix it or don't destroy life if you can't make life so like the one once you take away a life you can't get it back again it's like at least if you rob somebody's house or some money or like you can get those materials and money back again um, but don't don't break something you can't make you know like it's just common sense like it's the, the severity or the degree of a loss like if you don't want someone to blood make you bloody and sore or painful or at least kill you just consider erring on the side of caution on the side of peacefulness don't risk it doing it to another person you know what i'm saying it's not your risk if you do it to another person but yeah yeah you get the gist um, err on the side of caution, err on the side of love, err on the safe side that has the love and the peace and the kindness on it. The other side has like the other things which I won't even mention, I won't even get into, you know, it's like pain, hurt, hurt, sadness, loss, suffering. For so many, not even the one that's killed, but like if your family member is taken from you through an act of killing, murder, an act, or an accident, that's sad for your family. In the same way, it's like even if one is killed or two is killed in the family, that's like, that's sad for the family, you know? It's not just, you don't just affect the one you, you hurt or take or capture. It's a lot of them. So yeah, err on the side of love and caution and kindness, you know? And then another thought um, is, what else? <clears throat> yeah, so, and I touched on this in part one. Like, ima if, imagine, we think we're maybe better or more evolved or advanced or mature or developed or con more in our consciousness than animals, yeah? But like I said in part one, like disabled humans or babies and children are all less than the adults as well. But that doesn't mean they have any less right to life, less less right to peace, less right to freedom for suffering, less right to be treated less less rights to be treated with dignity, love, care and respect. They all we all do so it's not about intelligence it's not about like looks it's not even about maturity development of consciousness because there's other alienated species who are far more advanced than us far more far more but that if you think that that gives them the right to come along and slave impregnate capture take our women our daughters our, our youth kill our boys you know treat us with that type of like just capture us purely just uses like a thing so they can gain money I don't think you'd agree with that because if you do then give them a call now and ask them to come along and hurt, take or kill any of your family members or your brothers and sisters, your pets, your children, your family. Because I know you don't agree with that. 
and it doesn't make sense and I don't agree with that either so it's not about like just being more like advanced or you know more mature more developed either technologically or physically stronger just because you're physically stronger and you have power over another that doesn't mean you can you should abuse that power if anything if you have more power and strength you should use that as a sense of responsibility to protect and love and care for those who are more vulnerable and more in a state of uh, need like more vulnerable like care for the young care for the old care for the less developed care for the less grown care for the less conscious you use power for responsibility not for exploitation so that's a beautiful thing with power but to be honest i feel it's like part of our consciousness probably that we if we aren't as conscious as we could be then we'll use our power for hurting others instead of protecting and loving others and nurturing others and building and constructing that's what love is it's constructive it's building it's alkaline it's it's just alkaline and a metaphor. It builds, nourishes, it looks after, it cares for, it enriches. It's like a motherly energy. But the fatherly or the masculine energy is more like protective, like don't hurt, like keep me, keep, I want to keep my, my loved ones, my family, my tribe, my people, my children safe. Now I've very, I have a very protective energy, I've been told by like a psychic. He actually said to my partner, to be honest, that he's very protective. And I know I'm very protective. I'm very protective over everybody. Um, other humans and animals as well, other people, other children, other people. Um, yeah, I care for people and, and I care for animals and I care for even plants. Some people might say, well, what about like people, vegetarians or vegans? Um, they, they, um, if they eat plants, like what about the plants? And I, I agree, like there's some arguments to be made for non-veganism too. There's an environmental factor. Like what if you eat like locally sourced, grass fed, like, you know, free range, all the girls in the field away from, separated from the families, etc. Or what if they even happening with their families? Still killing is, is still, it's very sad. In my opinion, like to kill unnecessary is a, is a somewhat disgusting for me, acts that's unnecessary. And there's no real positive except for the person who eats it. And a big loss for everybody else, including the family. And the, yeah, it's a big loss, it's irreplaceable. Um, but um, I hear like non non vegan dieters like perspectives. I, I appreciate hearing from them. There is pros and cons of everything. Like there's a pro and con of cannibalism about humans too. I don't agree with like capturing and killing and eating other humans, which still happens in parts of the world and has happened throughout human history. I get it. But if there's other options, I think it's nicer and erring on the side of caution to um, not kill another human being and eat them or an animal. And about plants, like animals and humans are far, 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 far more alike than just like animals and plant, animals or humans and plants. It's very, very, very different biologically speaking in terms of the suffering that we know it causes. But ultimately, I think it'd be the most safest and the most on the side of caution using the rationale and the points that I've made to not eat plants either. So that's where eating fruits only or even breatharian can come in when we reach that level of physical health and, and energetical vitality and mental and emotional maturity or health and well-being also to be able to gradually switch to the more pranic living, which is IKA breatharian. Fruitarian is far easier by a long shot. Um, I'm much more drawn to eating as much fruits to all fruits as I can. And it's actually when I do that, it's just my consciousness and my emotional, mental and physical health and maturity to stop me from doing that more continuously. Um, because I have some attachments mental or emo mental or maybe even emotional to food. Um, and I have some physical power to, to gain so I don't detox as much and I'm mental, m emotional maturity so I can deal with emotional or physical detox so I can keep sticking with the fruits but all in all I think it's definitely a safer bet and different to eat a plant than than an animal and we could also eat some leaves or nuts and seeds and fruits and all of which the whole plant the plant isn't killed the roots kills the plants um, eating too many leaves or taking all the leaves from a plant won't necessarily kill it but it will like impair it a great deal because it will grow back with the power of the roots but yeah, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I don't feel I'm a hypocrite. I'm giving fair points, just pros and cons. 
like for example going back to what i was saying earlier like if let's say you eat a vegan diet where you're eating everything like cooked food like grains you're having this that and the other everything you can be more unhealthy than eating like just pure natural like simple like like food like our great ancestors would have would have eaten purely from the land it could, even if it is like coming from animals not that i'd want to do that like i don't want to eat animals i love animals they're like my babies like my children they're my friends they're my family i love them i have a deep connection with animals i have a very big deep connection with the nature too and the plants and humans i love humans they're gorgeous i love them they're such beautiful creatures i think humans are a beautiful innocent and kind species they really are um I'll get into why and I'll get into even explaining why more stuff like war and poverty exists and that's not because of humans it's more like because of the the reptilians and the old world order who and it involves even ETs and um, who are trying to control and manipulate and suppress the consciousness of the humanity so um yeah so I hope you feel and understand and get my care for humans and plants and animals. And I'm not trying to be mean to anybody. I'm just trying to be fair and kind as possible to everybody. Give everyone a chance, you know. Give everyone a chance. Give animals a chance. Give give humans a chance. Um, we're all doing our best. We're all doing our best. We try and we learn as we go along. So that's nice. So yeah, um, the last thing I can think of, which is like, well, some people don't eat a vegan diet, might say. If you eat just like really in your locality, and I learned this from my friend, like that can be more like environmentally friendly than like having things that have been flown in all throughout the world for someone who eats a vegan diet to eat. It's, so it's more like, you know, efficient in terms of fuel and that type of stuff and pollution. But I still don't, like if, if that was applied to like human slavery in the lo locality, eat hu local human slaves and enslave them and just think of them as things and you don't really fully value and care for their life otherwise you'd never kill your mum because you fully value and care for her so it's the same thing as trying to be earlier you can't just have one rule for you and another rule for another thing it has to all line up and be common sense and apply to everybody and um, you can't just like pick and choose like you know like some people say you can't have your cake and eat it but i'm not sure if that's the perfect most perfect analogy you can't have one rule for you and another for another person and act like that's logic or rational it's like that's like biased and especially it's, it's not fair if it's biased in your favor like try to be biased against yourself and see how it feels <laughs> so again like treat it just like you like to be treated so yeah that's all i want to say have a nice day lots of love thanks for watching so yeah one last uh, quick thing that if you are going to eat meat or like, it's it's so much uh, more beneficial to have organic and free range and wild is the best um ethically i feel like the nicer the free and happy animal with his family and in the wild the better in terms of keeping them alive and letting them live their natural life but in terms of health wild and um, organic is so much better because as toxins get passed down the food chain and is concentrated in in like um animals so the, the, the predator animals it's uh, more concentrated in for example if a cow eats the grass and the grass has chemicals then some of the chemicals will be in the cow but then if let's say a lion then eats the cow then they will also have the chemicals from the lion and then the additional ones from the cow that got that they got from the grass so basically speaking factory farmed animals have stuff like antibiotics Hormone, growth hormones and um, pesticides insecticides fungicides various whole lot of stuff that was given put on their the food for them which is very poor quality because they're just used as commodities and things so it's not like they're being cared for so it's really important like not to, to like get like super toxic overload also like cooking cooking proteins denatures them and makes them much more like carcinogenic so I'd highly recommend like not having cooked factory farmed animals for health purposes, which also affects your body and your mind and your emotional state to be more stressed and less happy and more agitated and less peaceful. Less happy basically is not a good thing, so people don't realise this until you ever give up something like this. It's the same with like processed vegan food. You'll be more of the states I just mentioned of the of the non favourable kind. So this is just a, fa a physiological factual thing I'm sharing with you. I'm not speaking ethically or I, I felt this too so um, yeah so yeah raw people eat raw fish raw meat it has to be good quality and if I was to ever eat these things I definitely would do it raw 
but I don't want to for ethical purposes, like I said, my own personal opinions, belief systems and my 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 system or code of, of morality and ethics. So so yeah, just to hope this full video helps you helps you much. I'm trying to be fair minded and kind of be kind and just, you know, helpful. So uh, yeah. Same with vegan food, by the way. If you are going to have it, don't be having like the processed junk food kind, because then you can still easily get like sick and not thrive and have a certain like level. Go for the more whole food or even the more raw food. So whole food is basically, basically speaking, it's like the same. If you eat like eat a broccoli and it looks, when you eat, when you buy it or you cook it, it's like it's the same way as it looks. The plant is like how it looks when it grew. You know, it's cauliflower, carrot spinach whereas if you start like stuff like vegan burgers or tofu or like omnivorous burgers with the buns and the flowers and you know like like all sorts of like 50 ingredients in like a ch chocolate brownie like usually the organic raw chocolates only have like f five six ingredients it's pretty simple and that type of stuff like that's not still an optimal food but it's at least not like 50 ingredients which is non-organic it's factory farmed which is totally different story. So, anyway, I better go. So, I hope this video has really helped you. And lots of love. Thanks.